So, tomorrow's front pages are on the way very shortly. But first, this is a court case being brought against the Department of Homeland Security to release Prince Harry's US immigration records. And it's just finished in Washington, D.C. Conservative think tank, the Heritage Foundation, has sued the Department of Homeland Security over their decision not to share Harry's visa records, particularly those relating to his drug use. Now, Harry admitted in his memoir, Spare, last year, that he had previously taken cocaine, marijuana and psychedelic mushrooms. The Heritage Foundation have therefore questioned why the prince was ever allowed to live in the US in the first place and whether he lied on his visa application in 2020. They have ultimately called for these documents to be made public. Well, joining me now is the man who has just been in court for this lawsuit against the Department of Homeland Security. It's Niall Gardner. Niall, thank you very much. So what's happened then? Uh, Patrick, thanks very much for having me on the show uh, tonight. And as you mentioned, I just actually uh, came back uh, to my office from uh, the federal courtroom here in Washington, uh, D.C. Uh, and I have to say the hearing actually was very, very positive from our point, uh, point of view. Uh, we have asked for the, uh, the release of Prince Harry's immigration uh, records. We want to establish whether or not Harry lied with regard to his drug use. Uh, we want to see whether he received any kind of preferential treatment uh, from U.S. authorities. Uh, and so the federal judge who heard uh, evidence from both uh, both sides, arguments from both sides, uh, is treating this case very, very uh, seriously. And he made it clear at the end of the hearing uh, that he may request very soon, in his own words, uh, to see Harris' immigration records uh, in camera. In other words, he would the judge himself would be able to review these records and he'll mm. be able to see exactly what Prince Harry put down on his application. This is a very, very big step uh, if indeed the, the judge goes ahead with that. And I think there's a very strong chance that he uh, that he will. Uh, and so this would be a very big development in terms of getting closer to the release of Harry's right. uh, record. So, so a very a very positive outcome from our point of view. Well, just talk, talk with you that then now. So as it stands then, the judge himself has not been able to view whether or not Prince Harry lied on his visa application to America, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah and the, he, the Department and it of sounds Homeland, like he now yeah. wants to. Yeah, so the Department of Homeland Security has refused to release any information whatsoever uh, with, with regard to the... Uh, the, the details of Harry's immigration records. So, so the judge himself has not had a chance to review these records, uh, and he made it categorically clear at the end of the hearing uh, that very soon he will make a decision about whether he himself should have the opportunity to review those those records uh, in camera. Is is the legal legal mm. term? Uh, and uh, if if indeed the judge is able to review these records. Uh, then, then I think that is a very, very significant development. The judge well, it will, will be, be it will be significant. Yeah. Now, as I understand it, the lawyers representing Harry, I, I've got in my notes here that they also represent Joe, have represented the Biden presidency. Apparently, is that right? And um, yeah, so the, yeah, they're, they're yeah, saying, they're saying that the book doing... spare, the book spare, is not yeah. sufficient evidence that Harry ever took drugs, yeah. and that it simply could have been used to sell books. Is that their argument? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I, mean, I, I sat in the front of the courtroom. I heard uh, the the Biden administration's lawyers make their arguments. After we have sued the Biden administration for the release of these Apologies, these records, yes, that's my fault. Sorry. Uh, and and so uh, so the, the Biden administration officials representing the Department of Homeland Security argued today uh, that uh, Prince Harry's own book Spur and his revelations about drug use. Um, were not were not necessarily a, a legal admission by by Harry that he had used uh, drugs, and I I, th I thought this was a ludicrous argument. Harry himself wrote the book; is in his name. He has admitted to widespread drug use. This is clear cut evidence that would be accepted in any court. Argue that this, this is not admissible, uh, and that this is not evidence of Harry's drug taking. I think is is completely. Uh, I think we ridiculous. can learn a bit from that now, though, can't we? Can't we learn a bit from that? Because why would you make the case, as in, why would they make the case, that Harry's drug taking in spare is not definitive proof that he took drugs previously? Why would you make that case unless he had said on his visa application that he hadn't taken drugs, right? Because yeah, you wouldn't, very, he wouldn't have to. Good, that's a very good case. And that, that, so this is why we're asking uh, the Biden administration to release those records so the American people can see exactly what's in them 
and whether or not Harry, uh, Harry lied. And lying on an immigration application, of course, is a criminal offense. It's a very serious uh, matter here. And, and I think that, uh, you know, it, it's, it's extraordinary that the lengths to which the Biden presidency is going to protect these records from public release. Why are they doing that? Uh, and uh, this is, uh, in my view, completely unacceptable. Uh, and there's a real shroud of secrecy surrounding mm-hmm. Harry's application. Why is that? Uh, we want to know exactly what's in those, uh, right. those, uh, those records. Harry is a huge public figure who has openly talked about his, his drug use. So this is not a matter of privacy for okay. Prince Harry. Well, 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 quite. Right. So then just to summarise all of this, then we could be getting a result on this when and um, playing that forward a bit. What could this result in? Harry being deported? Yeah. So so uh, firstly, if the if the judge requests to see the records uh, himself, uh, that that could be actually within the next few days or so, then the judge will have a chance to review those records. Uh, and uh, then the judge will, will decide, based upon what's in those records, whether to release them publicly. But you can be sure, if there's evidence of any lying wrongdoing here uh, on, on the part of uh, Prince Harry with regard to his application, you're going to see those those documents released. So we're moving a step closer towards right. that. Lying on an immigration uh, application is a criminal offence. Normally in those situations, the individual involved would be removed from the United States. Gosh. Well, watch this space. Hey, Niall, thank you very, very much. Um, I really appreciate it. You've literally legged it from court to get back to your office to come on this show. So much appreciated. Um, My pleasure. I, I would just really hope that you'll keep us updated for the very latest. I definitely will do, Patrick. Thanks very much. Now. That's Niall Gardner there from the Heritage Foundation. Thank you.